everybody welcome back to the cabin or the greenhouse or whatever we're calling the place right now cabins up there or the soon-to-be cabin today started off rainy as you saw so far in the video and it's still kind of drizzling and it's a chance for the rest of the day so a couple of ways that it's affecting what i'm doing one of them is that uh, ben from arctic acres who supplied the greenhouse he is not here hasn't been here for several days because of the weather we need dry weather to get up on top of that dome without sliding off in order to install those top panels install the fan and then uh, seal all the joints with clear tape so that's gonna happen uh, two days from now he'll be back for two or three days to, to help finish this off um, in the meantime what I thought I would do I had some small trees arrive in the mail and I uh, thought I would get those planted today. Got down here and then <laughs> started cutting poles to to uh, install fence posts. So I want to get some fence posts up, not only to keep the moose, especially out of the out of this garden section, but also to protect whatever plants I grow right now or plant right now, so that I don't run over them. So I'm going to get a couple of fence sections in, hopefully today. But anyway, as I cut these larches up, I realized um, <laughs> this temporary tent shelter here is a you know a real eyesore and it's not durable enough to keep up for any length of time the only reason i actually had it up and the only reason i'm using all the power tools and everything else is when i have help like that from guys like ben I'm not going to waste their time doing everything more traditionally or with uh, hand tools or to build a shelter but since he's not here um, i'm going to get rid of that thing i'm going to get a shelter built Hopefully with a roof on it before he comes back and we can store all our gear under here so that it stays dry or keeps it out of the sun if it ends up being really hot and buggy over the next couple of days as he's here. So that's the plan. I'm burning the ends of these logs like I always do. Everything that's getting buried in the ground and then about a foot above the ground. So three feet into the uh, basically just sand and then a foot above. So I'm burning the first four feet of these poles and that's to prevent rot or slow down rot. Uh, these are larch. They're also very rot resistant naturally. They grow near the water so they're t water tolerant and uh, they should last probably my lifetime, charred especially. I'm going to put up six and then build a lean-to shelter this way. That's north and on the south side of this roof I'm going to install solar panels to power the cabin, the greenhouse and uh, probably a satellite dish so that I can I'll start, um, once I'm established here, I can start editing and uploading my videos right from here. That'll be a big time saver. I think uh, tomorrow, well tonight's calling for rain, tomorrow's calling for a chance of rain. And then like I said, Ben and Emily and possibly my wife return the following day. That's uh, straight east-west is <laughs> this line that I'm getting. So that this slope is facing straight south for solar. I'm planting hazelnut and filbert, 10 of each along that fence line, probably on the inside and I'll probably put blueberries on the outside and uh, just hope the bears don't find it before uh, we get to harvest most of them. It's really mostly to keep moose out like I said because they're just going to wander through here picking away eating at especially the, the uh, succulent bushes and trees so I'll have to keep them out. Deer don't have a lot of deer right here in this section of, of, the, of my land and Cali tends to keep them away so I'm not too worried about them. They don't winter right here either in this section of the forest so I'm not afraid of them being extra hungry in the winter and trying to get in here. Moose on the other hand do winter here so they could be an issue. Um, I'll put a six foot fence up and if I find that they're jumping it and they really want in here then I'll uh, raise that fence but I just think with the greenhouse and the cabin right here and all the human scent and Cali scent I don't think they're going to be too bad, too big of an issue, so we'll see. surprised that I haven't hit the water table with any of these holes. I think the deepest one was 36 inches 
and I would have thought that I'm less than that down to that water table or down to the the meadow where the water is collected but maybe I'm a little bit higher I guess I, just, I thought I would get into some wet soil or wet sand at least I need to mulch this with something that I can identify as a place where I put a plant so to keep the moisture in it I'm putting the bark that I've been peeling off the logs I'll just keep topping up around it but as like does that uh, decomposes but for now it's much more recognizable than the surrounding ground so I won't damage the plants if I know where they are so this is the north side of the clearing where the gardens going so the greenhouse there obviously um, solar panels there sort of on the south side of the clearing I've got a few more saplings to take out here to get more sunlight, but this back north section will be kind of a microclimate facing south like this. Um, get a lot of sunlight and a lot of heat, so the apples should do pretty well. If anything, I'll have to worry about uh, just keeping them watered. Got some trees with upper canopy here that are going to stop some of the water from falling, and it's sandy. So again, I'm going to have to keep adding organic material. Really build up this soil with uh, mostly decomposed wood probably over the years and some peat moss or sphagnum moss and stuff well that just that's for moisture retention doesn't add any nutrients so I'll keep doing that here gather some mud probably from down in the wherever the beaver dams hold the stream back and the silt collects flying squirrel just climbed up this tree right here and then soared down over into the back into the forest there so that was pretty cool I'll try to get it on film but I assume it uh, it lives here. In fact, I saw it in what looked like a nest up in the tree, so I'm assuming it nested there. So hopefully I can get um, some closer up footage of that to show you. It's starting to cloud over, so I'm trying to get as many of these things planted as possible so that they can get uh, rained on over the next couple of days instead of me having to pull water up from the stream. Oh, and the other thing is these are all dwarf or semi-dwarf, which is why I'm only spacing them about six to eight to 12 feet wide um, or you can keep them pruned and from interfering with each other too much but also just uh, keep them fairly short so they can harvest fairly easily any of the full size ones I'll find another spot that um, it's not going to be shading any of the other crops but also have uh, room to grow away from other trees If you're interested in following along on this channel, um, it's a, I do provide a lot more detail than I do on the other channel. I talk more and explain what I'm doing. So you can click on the playlist in the bottom left hand side of the screen to watch the 2021 playlist. Um, a lot of it's going to be this and then building the cabin. By this I mean the garden and the greenhouse. And then to watch the next video, um, most recent video upload, then top left hand corner of the screen. And to subscribe of course, uh, bottom left or bottom. bottom right or upper right to uh, subscribe to one, either one of my channels so thanks for watching appreciate it and look forward to seeing you at the cabin next time take care